Welcome back, James again, Caroline Forge. Uh, having some fun this weekend with my dad. He come up, spent the weekend with me. We've done some fishing, we've done some forging. Tried to get him to come do this video with me, but he said no, he'd rather just watch me make it, so that's what we're gonna do. He's been asking for a chipping hammer uh, for a concrete truck to help bust concrete out of the chutes and things like that, keep it clean. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this old ball peen hammer. I had a, a head laying around. We're gonna make him a chipping hammer out of this. We're gonna keep this. I may uh, keep this round as possible on this end, maybe sharpen it to a blunt diamond point and then draw this out to a long tapered point wide, kind of like a brick hammer. So he can get into the cracks and uh, small spaces and chip the dried concrete out. So we got the forge hot, we're gonna get it in there and we're gonna get it going guys. So stick around, we're gonna have some fun. Pretty much the first thing I'll do is just square this up so it's easier to draw out a square than it is a circle. You see we're nice and square with that head now. So we're just gonna commit to drawing it out this way now. I don't want to go any wider. So we're gonna be using the straight pin that I made. And you're gonna get to see firsthand how efficient it is to use a straight pin when trying to draw things out laterally in this position. As you can stand in a natural stance, 45 degree angle, tong hand here, hammer hand here, strike normal, and still control the lateral directional movement of your steel. Straight beans are awesome hammers. They're not the perfect hammer, but they're one of my top favorite hammers. Let's draw this thing out. Draw it out some.
I think we can get one more out of it. What do you think, Pop? He gave the nod of approval, folks. We're on the right track. Here you have the chipping side. It's about as long as we're gonna go. I'll be able to sharpen that into like a chisel point, clean that up on the grinder. For this end over here, let's see here. You gotta do like a, a diamond point. Just to give it something a, a sharp, but yeah heavy point to maybe break up big masses of concrete so try and do some facets on this bring it to a nice little diamond point and we're gonna call that done your square okay. right to the edge of the hand and the head there just kind of slowly bring this point forward so we have a nice point part of blacksmithing where you've heard me say it's not always about how hard you hit it, it's about how accurate you hit it. I'm not hitting this thing hard, I just got to make sure I hit it in the right spot every time or it's going to mess it up. Show sure enough tank. This is where it's coming to pain the hole. Hitting it like that, it's awkward. Alright folks, we got the point we want. That's enough of a point there we can take and finish that up with the grinder so I think what we're going to do now is we are going to uh, normalize this thing a few cycles before we take it in there to the grinder so we can do the grinder and come back to the heat tree now as far as the heat tree goes on this thing I do not know what kind of steel that is because so I didn't source that steel I just used a piece of uh, a piece of hammer that I had, I did, I had. so generally my hammers are made from 4140 or 1045 and I know how to heat treat them 4140 goes in oil 1045 in water but this I don't know what I don't know which it is and some of you guys out there to make hammers or mess with this kind of stuff knows that if you have 4140 here and I was to take this and quench it in water bye bye hammer it's going to crack all the crap and this is going to be worthless it's going to come apart and it's not going to be any good because of the chromium content in it it hates water it hates being quenched in water uh, that needs to go in oil so the first thing I'm going to do I'm going to quench this one in oil the first time 
see if we can get any marks so I can get a hardness, uh, hit it with a file. And we're where we want to be, we're going to stay there. If not, we're going to go through it again and we're going to put it in water. So let's get this thing normalized, get some grinding done on it, and we'll come back out here to see what we got to do to harden this back for. Here it is. Okay. Let's get it on the grinder. Do some rough grinding on this bad boy. Alright, bring you on for a little bit of it. But you know me, I think grinding's boring, so I assume everyone thinks grinding's boring, so I don't put a lot of it in my videos because it's boring. shot in oil it's been normalized uh, we're gonna go one more time normalize it then we're gonna try and harden this stuff in oil so once it normalizes this last time uh, I'll bring you back we'll do the point. all right here we go can't tell that thing's hard just by looking at it. I don't know what to tell you. That <laughs> thing is covered in Mark Tide. Covered! Slides <laughs> right off of it. drift because the, eye, the this head is so much further or so much closer to the eye than this head that it's going to take a lot to control the heat here to, long enough to get the rest of the heat out this side to temper this so we're going to temper this bad boy in the oven okay she's ready to go we're going to put it on a 120 grit for now clean it up and then probably take it up to 240 and then half it up and call it done so it spells out if we get it set all the way down there. So what we're going to do next, we're going to dip this in wood, uh, oil so it'll swell once it's in there. We'll put our wedge in with some glue. Let's get it size to the right size. It can just go straight in. Let's see. About a quarter inch off of it. There we go, perfect size. Okay, 
Okay, first thing we do, nice docking oil, put your hammer head, get it on there, put it down in there, and just from the bottom, turn it, you know, try to hit it nice and square, you don't want to break your handle, get that thing to go down in as far as you can get it. Curl ups, that's what we want to see. I mean, she's seated in there real good. See them curls? Right there. Now, we're going to take some glue. Right on both sides. Rub it in good. cut this excess off then we'll put our uh, step wedge down in there just to finish it off. We're ready for the step wedge. I like to put mine at an angle. Uh, go two thirds to one side just in case you ever have to add another wedge. You've got plenty of room to do it. in there she ain't coming out that head won't ever come off here you have to burn the handle out of that bastard tell you that right now okay and get these curls off of here we're going to sand this handle up right, guys, here we have it decided we aren't going to burn the handle i didn't have enough uh, fuel for the torch to burn it completely to do it like we want so we're just going to leave it like this when i hadn't oiled it if he decides he wants to burn it later my father will go ahead and take care of that himself he knows how to do it but the handle's not really what we made that's, that's not the important part this is what we made right here nice chipping hammer brick hammer style the diamond point on the front nice solid point there so it's going to break stuff uh chip out concrete you know big chunks of it this right here get down in more of a you know smaller area thinner gap to chip it out you know and then little grooves of those uh shoots and things like that so yeah all in all it's exactly what he was looking for he loves it he's ready to take it home put it to work um i'm sure you'll see some comments on the video from him once he gets to test it out and see what he thinks about it uh but as far as it goes right now he's very pleased with it and that's all that matters so chip ball peen hammer now a chipping hammer from a father how about that so Folks, uh, if you like the video, hit the button down below. You know, leave me a comment, tell me what you think about it. Uh, if you got any ideas, share them with me, please. You know, something you'd like to see me do, whatever. Uh, I'm open to suggestions, you know, because I just love doing this. It doesn't really matter what I'm doing when it's forging as long as I'm forging something. So if you got an idea you want to see me make a video on it, shoot me a comment, send me an email or something, and we'll see if we can do it for you. Uh, thanks. Uh, subscribe. Make sure you... Here later, we're going to be posting a video on the completion of the door knocker as well. So I'm sure you're going to want to see that. That's going to be part three. But you got to be subscribed so you can see it. Well, you don't have to be subscribed, but if you're subscribed, you'll get the notification. You can see it as soon as I post it. So yeah, share it with your friends, subscribe, all that good stuff. And as we say here, we're going to catch you on the next one.